guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Alora. I make motherhood and lifestyle content. Be sure to stick around by subscribing down below. I would love that. Today's video might be a little all over the place. I don't know, we'll see, but mostly it's just going to be a nesting video, me getting ready for baby number two. She will be here in about four weeks if she decides to come on her due date. I will be getting my postpartum care basket ready. I will be packing my hospital bag and I will be just getting last minute baby things done so that if she decides to come a little bit early, we'll be prepared. I will be making my postpartum care basket right now and I just wanted to share some of the things that I will be putting in because they are what I have on hand. But let's start off with the basket I'll be using and it's not actually a basket. It's like a metal tin thing. Um, actually, my husband uh, got this as a Christmas gift, like full of s'more supplies. So it's technically a s'more station, as you can see it written. <laughs> it's, yeah, this is technically a s'more station, but it's going to be the postpartum station in the meantime because we will not be roasting any marshmallows anytime soon. I will be having some pad sickles in the bin. This is the Frida Mom brand. I had a bunch of pad sickles that I used from the hospital last time, so I ended up having a lot of these left over. If I'm being totally honest though, I actually preferred the hospital's pad sickles over the Frida Mom. Next thing is these pads came from the hospital. They're leftovers from Caspian's birth. They're huge, um, but they do the job. Next up is the most humbling one of them all, and that is diapers. My dad joked that my husband will not only be changing our daughter's diaper, but probably mine. So thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. Don't you guys love dads? Aren't they just like so funny? And then here is my peri bottle from my last birth. This was from the hospital, so they'll probably give me another one identical to this. And last thing I'm putting into the bin for right now is some nursing pads. I will get the wipes and the spray from the hospital, um, so I'm not worried about that. And I'll just add it to the bin when I get home. But what's nice is I'll have the majority of the things I need for postpartum care ready to go. Bassinet is put together, swing is put together. I washed the cover, so I just put that back on real quick. And then I just have some bassinet sheets that need washed before I actually put one on to the mattress. I'm just going to be keeping the bassinet and the swing in the room until she's born. And then when she's born, I'll have my husband bring it out and put them into their respective spots. So the bassinet is going to go into our room when she's here in the swing will go into the living room. We love watching the school buses drive by, huh? That's our favorite thing to do after nap is watch the school buses drive by. Yeah. I really don't know what he's saying right now if I'm being totally honest, but he's saying the same thing. So I'm going to try to figure it out. <laughs> huh? Oh, like for example, yellow. Can you, can you say yellow? 
He goes la 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 la, la for yellow. <laughs> Try to figure that one out, right? <laughs> you say yellow. Yeah. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> I feel like that's also part of like the toddler phase is trying to decipher what on earth they're saying. <laughs> His language development is doing really, really good. I feel like we're saying new words every week, which is a good place to be at. Um, but we're still learning how to pronounce certain words like yellow. You wanna play with the ball? Can you say ball? Good job, ball. That's a soccer ball. Our world A soccer. Yep, ball. soccer ball. Ball. Good. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just took the fabric off of various little baby items. So I have the pillows just chilling in the bassinet for now. This is the breast friend, this is my boppy, and then this is my lounger, baby lounger pillows. Um, all of the fabric stuff is in there. That is the car seat cover. That really needs a good wash. There is some dried spit up on that that I apparently never washed off. So going to give that a really good wash. I have the car seat bases back here that my husband needs to install at some point, but um, I don't plan on putting the car seat in the car until I'm like actually in labor. So the reason for not putting the car seat in the car until labor, and you've probably heard this before, I don't know, but I heard from someone, but somewhere, <laughs> it was good advice. Basically install the car seat bases, but don't put the car seat in the car until you're having baby because if you put the car seat in the car weeks before and for whatever reason you get into a car accident then you have to replace the whole system of you know car seat base baby car seat rather than just placing the base so that is kind of why they say it the likelihood of getting into a car accident I'm sure is very very low but it's still a good piece of advice that I did choose to follow so doing that again, it's really easy just to like take it out, click it in, and that's it. Like it's not time consuming whatsoever. Honestly, me getting out the door will be the most time consuming thing because when those contractions really hit, it is hard to just move and walk. I am just going to gather things that I want to pack for her hospital bag onto the changing table. I pretty much have everything I need in regards to like what she would need for the hospital. So I'll probably go ahead and do that, which is exciting. Packing her bag is so much more fun than packing my own. Yay, and it's sunny outside, which also yay. 
One of the things I definitely want to do today, wash the bassinet covers, the car seat cover, basically all the covers to things that have just been in the basement for a while that I just pulled up this week. Um, going to wash all of that so that I can get everything back on and that is like done. I don't have to worry about it, don't think about it. Oh, definitely want to wash my boppy cover for sure and I want to get that done because I will be bringing my boppy to the hospital with me for visitors who maybe need some more support holding baby for me when I'm breastfeeding her and then also to sit on on the way home. So that boppy serves multiple purposes. I'm going to go put this in the wash and get this done today and I want to try to put everything back on. hours later now plus a hair change today's the day I pack the hospital bag for me my husband and baby girl and then I'm also packing my son's overnight bag as well for his grandparents house and all the bags will be packed ready to go we can just grab them and head out the door I plan on doing a whole separate video of going in depth of the things that I am packing so if you're interested in that stay tuned I will be doing a what's in my hospital bag video in the near future. For weeks now I have just been collecting things in a basket and now I can finally like lay out everything, see what I have, go over my checklist and make sure that I have everything that's on my checklist out and on the bed for me to see and then I can just pack it all up. Let's go do that real quick because it's been on my mind. Honestly I've been procrastinating so much this time around but we're gonna get it done today. day again and we got a lot of things done yesterday I'll just kind of show you a quick overview and explain the things that I got done and that is ready to go for when she's here over here I just have our um, basically like run out the door bags hospital bags my son's overnight bag this is a portable high chair for mostly for my in-laws because they don't have one so I have that for them and then his 
like I said, overnight bag. My boppy, this right here is last minute items to grab. And it is a checklist and my husband will be the one going over that, making sure all the boxes are checked. And then I have his pillow just kind of chilling over here. Here is the car seat. Um, the straps are probably a little too close. I don't know. We, if we need to adjust it while we're at the hospital, we can do that. But the car seat's nice and clean and put together. And you guys, like, holy spit up. So much dried spit up. And, like, especially underneath this fabric thing. And that all came out in the wash. So very, very happy that that came out because it was really gross looking. Yeah, are you excited to be a big brother? <laughs> no comment. So this is the lounger just chilling in the bassinet for now. I will use this on the couch for when we're all out there. I, yes, I am that paranoid mom that will not leave my child untended in the lounger because of like suffocation issues. So like I said, this will be, she'll be in it when I am there and aware and am able to watch her. And then here is the breast friend pillow, just chilling on the rocking chair for now. And I'm pretty sure that is everything that I did yesterday. The last thing on the list is the car seat bases. And that is my husband's job. I trust him putting it in more than I trust myself. And that's why I really want him to do it. Otherwise, I would totally just install them myself. But like I said, I just trust him doing it a lot more than me. I think I'm going to end today's video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye, friends.